If you define the Big Bang really carefully as the time when the universe was very hot and very dense, and as I said, you, you can't argue with that because we can see it, <laughs> because we can look out into the sky. What lies beyond the edge of the visible universe? Is it just more of what we already see? An endless, dark emptiness? Or could it be something we've never even dared to imagine? Because right now, we are living in a moment where everything we thought we knew about the cosmos is being shaken to its core. We're finding things out there that are so enormous, so ancient, and so perfectly arranged that they simply shouldn't exist according to our models. And it's forcing us to ask questions we never thought we'd be facing. What if I told you there's an actual physical edge to our reality? A boundary in time that we can see but can never, ever cross. We're about to take a journey right to that absolute limit, a place cosmologists call the particle horizon. And then we're going to peer into the infinite blackness beyond it and explore the theories of what's out there. And I promise you, the possibilities are more profound, more bizarre, and more magnificent than you can possibly imagine. This journey might just change the way you see everything. Okay, so to understand what could be outside our universe, we first have to get our heads around what we're inside. We live in what's called the observable universe. Picture it like a giant sphere with us, right here on Earth, at the absolute center. Now, that isn't because we're special. An alien in some galaxy billions of light years from here would have its own observable universe, with itself at the center. This sphere is mind-blowingly massive, about 93 billion light years across. Now, you might be thinking, hold on, that makes no sense. If the universe is only 13.8 billion years old, how can we see stuff that's 46.5 billion light years away? It's a brilliant question, and the answer is the first clue that something very strange is going on. The universe is expanding, but it's not that galaxies are flying through space, it's that space itself is stretching, carrying those galaxies along for the ride. So while a photon of light from a distant galaxy travels for 13 billion years to reach your eye, the galaxy that sent it has been carried much, much farther away in that time. This creates a fundamental wall. We can only ever see the light that's had enough time to reach us since the Big Bang. Light from anything farther than that simply hasn't arrived yet. This boundary, the absolute farthest we can possibly see, is the particle horizon. Think of it like the horizon you see at the ocean. That line isn't the end of the world. It's just the limit of your vision. Our particle horizon is a horizon in time, the ghost of the most ancient light, and beyond it lies the great unknown. So if we could somehow journey to the very edge of our observable universe, right up to that particle horizon, what would we see? You might expect to see the first flickering galaxies turning on, but the truth is much, much weirder. You'd be blinded, staring into a solid wall of light. This is the Cosmic Microwave Background, or CMB. It's the oldest light in the universe, a faint afterglow that fills all of space left over from when the universe was just a baby, only 380,000 years old. Before that moment, the entire cosmos was an impossibly hot, dense soup of plasma, a blazing, totally opaque fog. Light was trapped, instantly scattered and unable to travel freely. The CMB is a snapshot of the exact moment the universe finally cooled down enough to become transparent, letting photons race across the cosmos for the very first time. For us, Looking out into space is looking back in time. 
and the CMB is the farthest back in time we can ever see using light. It's like a shimmering, ghostly curtain at the edge of our vision. Beyond it to our telescopes, the universe is completely dark. It's another hard limit, another boundary to what we can know. But the particle horizon, the limit of our past, isn't the only boundary that defines our reality. There's another one. And frankly, this one is a lot more terrifying. It's called the cosmic event horizon, and it's born from the universe's ultimate fate. We've known for decades the universe is expanding, but in the late 1990s, astronomers made a jaw-dropping discovery. The expansion is accelerating. It's getting faster and faster, pushed apart by a mysterious force we've named dark energy. And this has a chilling consequence. It means there's a point in space, a line in the cosmic sand, where galaxies are receding from us faster than the speed of light. Now, this doesn't break Einstein's rules because it's not the galaxies moving through space that fast. It's the fabric of space-time itself that's stretching between us. The cosmic event horizon is the point of no return. Any light a galaxy emits beyond this horizon today will never reach us. The space between us is expanding so fast that light is like a runner on a treadmill that's constantly speeding up. It's running, but it's never getting any closer. This means that over trillions of years, galaxies we can see in our sky right now will cross this horizon and vanish from our view, one by one. Their light will be stretched into nothingness. Our distant descendants will be left in an increasingly dark, empty, and lonely universe. We are living in a fleeting moment of cosmic richness, and the event horizon is the boundary of our ultimate future, the limit of what we can ever hope to interact with. So we live inside a bubble defined by the past, and we're trapped inside another bubble defined by the future. What then lies outside? This is where science starts to feel like a cosmic thriller, and we move from observation into the realm of pure mind-bending theory. If your mind is already expanding with these ideas, do us a favor and hit that subscribe button, because the journey only gets weirder from here. So what's beyond the edge? What's outside our bubble? The simplest answer, and the one most cosmologists would agree on, is just more universe, more of the same. There's a core idea in cosmology called the cosmological principle, which basically says that on the very largest scales, the universe is the same everywhere. It stands to reason that the universe beyond our horizon looks a lot like the one inside it, a cosmic web of galaxies, stars, planets, and huge empty voids stretching on and on, perhaps forever. Our best measurements suggest the universe is spatially flat. If that's true, and it has a simple structure, it could be genuinely infinite. And in an infinite universe, anything that can happen will happen. In fact, it will happen an infinite number of times. Take a moment to picture what that means. Given infinite space and random particle arrangements, every possible configuration has to play out somewhere. Trillions upon trillions of light years beyond our horizon, there would be another Milky Way, another solar system, and another Earth with another you on it. There's a version of you who made a different choice this morning. A version who is a concert pianist. A version who is, well, anything you can imagine. In an infinite cosmos, there are infinite copies of you living out every single conceivable variation of your life. That is the staggering philosophical vertigo of the simplest answer. But what if the Big Bang that created our universe wasn't a one-time thing? What if it was just one of many? This is the jaw-dropping idea behind the multiverse. One of the leading theories, called eternal inflation, suggests that inflation, the explosive expansion of the early universe, is still happening in other regions of space-time, far beyond our own. Every so often, a patch of this inflating space slows down, cools off, and a bubble universe like ours branches off, complete with its own Big Bang. Picture it like a cosmic foam, an endless frothing sea of other universes. 
Our entire 93 billion light year observable universe would just be one bubble in that foam. And these other universes could be unimaginably alien. The way they formed might have given them completely different laws of physics. Imagine a universe with a different speed of light, different fundamental forces, maybe even different dimensions. They wouldn't just be beyond our horizon. They might exist beyond our ability to even comprehend. And the theories get even more exotic. Take this, string theory and M theory, which are our best attempts to unite all the forces of nature, propose the existence of higher dimensions of space. In this vision, our entire three-dimensional universe might be nothing more than a membrane or a brain floating in a higher dimensional space called the bulk. It's a dizzying thought. We might be living on a single sheet of paper in a vast multi-dimensional library. Other brains, other universes, could be floating parallel to our own, maybe just millimeters away in that other dimension, but totally inaccessible to us. Gravity, unlike the other forces, might be able to leak between these brains. This could explain why gravity seems so much weaker than the other forces, a mystery that has baffled physicists for decades. Our entire cosmos could just be a shadow of a reality in a higher dimension we can barely even conceive of. So what's beyond the observable universe? The honest truth is, we don't know for certain. There's no sign that says universe ends here. There is only a horizon made of ancient light, a boundary in time and distance we simply cannot cross. Beyond it could be an infinite expanse of more stars and more galaxies, where infinite versions of us are living out every possible life. Or our universe could be a single bubble in a multiverse of countless other realities, each with its own unique laws. Or maybe, just maybe, we are merely a shadow of a reality in a higher dimension we can barely even conceive of. The universe we can see is just a tiny fraction of the whole story. The greatest cosmic mystery isn't just about what's in the stars, but the mind-blowing possibility that our entire reality is just one page in an infinite cosmic library. The light from those other realms may never reach us, but their possibility changes everything. It forces us to confront the true, staggering scale of existence and our tiny, precious place within it. So I'll leave you with this question. What do you think is waiting for us out there in the dark?